All right, welcome to a brand new, never before seen exclusive subreddit, AKA this is my first time making a video on it. It's called Choosing Beggars. Credit to Nick for the suggestion. It's a place to post imagery of people who aren't willing to pay for something, but are still very picky and, and want it anyway. There are a lot of like really long text exchanges, so I'm gonna skip around a bit and see where we land. But we'll start off with number 19. Long text exchange. We're gonna start off with 18 here, cause that was long. It's also long. We're gonna start off with uh, number 17 here, cause we've just experienced a couple pretty lengthy posts. Okay, first off, I'm not gonna be paying you to make a website that will be free to visit. That doesn't make sense. And secondly, stop using words like rates and estimates. It makes you look like an asshole. Hey, you do websites, right? Can you build me a website? Hello, dot, dot, dot. You're about to lose my business. Sorry, I'm not on Twitter 24 seven. Yeah, I design websites for a living, but I'm currently not open to new work. January is a pretty busy month for me. My current workload is left enough on my plate. If you give me an idea what you want, I'll let you know my rates and give you an estimate for the project. Wow, okay. First, I'm not paying for a website that's gonna be free to visit. That doesn't make any sense, all right? Obviously, Facebook and YouTube and Google and all these websites that are free to visit, they just have a bunch of unpaid interns who have made the entire thing, okay? <laughs> you think Facebook is paying people to work on their website? Are you crazy? Do you not know how the business world works? Second, using words like rates and estimates makes you look like an a-hole. Are you telling me that you're in this for the money? You don't do the web design because you are passionate about the work? Unbelievable. The nerve of some people. You just lost my business, kid. Enjoy not getting fame from my million dollar idea. You're gonna lose. Bug time. Did I mention I am a bug Pokemon trainer and I'm about to battle you and you're gonna lose because it's bug time. Oh boy, that's a good first dose of choosing beggars. Work hours. Question. I have two employees that usually leave work at 6 p.m. They are good, but I don't like that their commitment lasts for work hours only. What should I do as a CEO? You know, okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. As someone who has an employee, I guess I can understand where this is coming from, right? Because when you run a business, you, that's, you just think about it nonstop and you're always doing something related to work and you're like, oh, wouldn't it be great if someone else would have that same mentality about my business? But the thing is, it's your business, so you're the only one who's gonna be that passionate about it, unless you give large amounts of equity to people who are like-minded and thus are motivated to see the company succeed. So, the answer to your question is, your phrasing is not very sensitive to people who, they, they wanna live their lives outside of work, but if you wanna motivate people to be more driven, you give out options. That's the answer you're looking for. HuffPo being a hypocritical choosing beggar. I've just written a book on difficulty working class kids have breaking into the professions because of proliferation of unpaid work. Having to post contacted me saying it sounded interesting. They asked me to write something. Unfortunately, they wouldn't be able to pay me. <laughs> However, despite being a multi-billion dollar company, is having to post a multi-billion dollar company? Or do they have a parent company that's a multi-billion dollar company? So here's my article. You are part of the problem, having did post. The end. <laughs> hey man, we like your work about unpaid internships. Do you mind doing one for us as an unpaid internship? That'd be really appreciated. You think it'd be a great way to spread your message in an ironic fashion. And the internet's all about like ir irony, right, these days. So it'd be funny, funny memes. Let's do it. Girl on Tinder wants Korean barbecue. I am hungry for Korean barbecue. Would you like to take me out to eat now? Lol, I just ate with my friends, would have done to grab a drink or something. I want Korean barbecue. If not, no meetup. Does this strategy actually work? Like, like you get free meals this way? Honestly, yeah, it probably does work. I, there are definitely enough people out there who'd be like, yeah, yeah for sure, I'm, I'm okay. We get to meet if I take you to Korean barbecue? Yeah, absolutely, let's go, let's do it. Where, when, I'm in my car. Quite literally, choosing beggar. 20s and larger only, please don't waste my time. That's a bold strategy. I wonder if it works for him. <laughs> Honestly, this looks like it could be in LA. Those look like California plates as well. This could be somewhere in LA. I wonder if I could come across this guy in the wild. Don't waste my time with your $10 bills, you cheapskates. What do you think I'm gonna be able to buy myself? Like a Happy Meal or something? 
Gross. I'm go. I'm only going for these high-end steakhouses. All right. I'm not about the cheap meals that will simply sustain me with the nutrients that I need to live. No. I will eat like a king, and if you're not going to sustain that habit for me, then go away and stop wasting my time. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. It's got to be a social experiment. It has to be. Choosing beggars don't like free beer at a local barbecue joint. Be like Terry. He sees a light beer. He drinks free light beer. Terry is happy and grateful. Don't be like Lee A. from Yelp. She sees a free light beer and complains that there isn't a better selection of free beer. I have a... <laughs> Oh god, I have an anecdote. It's very, in retrospect, it kind of hurts me, but at the time, as a kid, you don't really think much of it, because it's your parent. <laughs> but in Seeds Candy, it's a chocolate shop, they would always give out these free samples when you walk in, one per person. So it'd be like me and my mom after we get some dinner at California Pizza Kitchen, and they'd give out a couple of samples. <laughs> and most of the time, my mom was just like, because she doesn't eat nuts, really. She'd be like, ah, oh, no nuts, please, if they handed out a sample with nuts. But there were a couple times when there was, like, a little bit of back and forth going on of, like, the employee being like, hey, oh, here's your free sample. Mom would be like, ah, oh, no nuts, please. And then they give another that had no nuts. Mom would be like, ah, oh, I'm not really into that one. <laughs> it would be like, oh, Mom, it's, it's looking back on it. It's free. You gotta, you kind of got to take what they're, you're offered. But seriously, if you go and leave a bad review on Yelp because they won't give you the thing that you want for free, give me a break. It's a win-win situation. Tip number five, have a free photographer. Ex wait, what? Excuse me? A professional photographer can easily cost you around $800 to $3,000. Now that is a waste of good money. As photographers run their own business, you may want to approach them and strike a bargain. Cover your wedding and they can use it as a platform to advertise their business. That is a win-win situ- Who is writing this article? That does not work out. Try to look for a budding photographer in your family, or perhaps that friend of yours who is brilliant when it comes to taking photos. Exploit these talents. Law. Law. What, what's, what's the law? I know what the law is, but I don't know what the L-A-H is. I mean, I will say, I, I did wedding videography for no fee, as did my dad. So it's okay to ask your family member, but you can't go to a photography company and be like, yeah, so I'm looking for a wedding photographer, but also our budget's nothing, but you can use the photos if you want. And they're like, yeah, we can, we can do that anyway, so thanks. Cool, go elsewhere. This guy cracks me up, lol. Yo, I found your ad on Craigslist, and I was wondering if we could negotiate the price of the smart TV. Yeah, of course, what do you think you could do on the price? I was thinking instead of 400, maybe 150. That's way too low, man. Uh, could you do 350? Last <laughs> nice chance. Thanks for wasting my time. If the negotiations are not successful, I have wasted my time and it's your fault. Everyone knows that if negotiations don't go the way of the person who initiates them, it's been a waste of time for them. You know what they say, a picture is worth a thousand people telling you to think of the exposure. People, why do you charge so much? All you do is click a button. Me. Hey man, just think of the exposure, all right? It's very important when you're setting up your camera to set the exposure correctly, otherwise you can have a photograph that's either way too dark or way too bright, okay? So it's very important to think about the exposure because when you don't do that, no one else is gonna hire you because your photos just aren't gonna turn out very well. So be mindful. Guy who hacked my PS4 account admits it and would like some more free games, please. Bro. I used to have your account for almost a year and a half, and I really like your games, so can you please be nice and share your password with me, please? I know it's awkward. You gotta question how some people like this actually are able to get access to an account. You would think that someone who has the capacity to, I don't know, look through some compromised database to some website, pull out a password, match it to an email that then corresponds to a PlayStation account, and do all that. You think there, I don't know, be some capacity to comprehend human behavior and speaking, but, but that's what's confusing to me. There can be people who are very intelligent but use it for bad things, and you would think maybe this is that. Nope, just, I know this is awkward, but I just, can you buy me things? Thanks. Appreciate it. Can't go any lower than that. Free armchair. There's another guy offering an armchair and a coffee table for free on here. Do you have anything that could sweeten the pot to make it more worth my while? 
can knock off half the asking price. That is a brilliant, great answer. You've done well. How does that? I hate people. I want to believe. I want to believe that the person reaching out is trying to make a joke. I, it has to be. There's no way someone could actually write that message asking for more free stuff from a stranger. It couldn't be real. It had to be like, you know what? This is great. I can't believe they're offering a free armchair. I'm gonna just send a joke message and be like, look, I was kidding. I appreciate that you're offering a free armchair and take it, but if not, sorry, it's not worth my time to drive out there, but maybe if you give me more stuff, I'll go out of my way and just take your items. I mean, it's really a pain. Law will work. Looking for a bass guitarist to write a bass line for me. I don't dare try to put bass in my songs yet because it's a skill in itself. If I upload it to YouTube, you'll be credited in the description. Sweet, $100 cool or uh, keep dreaming, bro. I do this stuff for fun, not money. For the record, I think $100 is more than fair. Credit, credit on an unknown artist track really isn't worth much. I could buy a bass guitar for 100 and learn how to play myself, haha. <laughs> well, we'll refer to what you said up in your post and do it and stop asking people to work for free. Lol, work. Wow, you're living for the wrong reasons, okay? I'll have you know that every note that I play off of my guitar, it just, it transforms into a rainbow, a ribbon of color that then morphs into dollar bills that pay my rents, okay? When you have enough passion, money just materializes in front of you and you can sustain yourself. It doesn't happen if you're artificial, hypocritical, do things for the money. Selling a used iMac for $1,200, a woman asks how low I would sell it for, or if I take $800 and some jewelry she makes. Oh, and I also ruined Christmas. What do you mean how low? The price is firm $1,200, I paid $2,800 for it, so you're getting a pretty good deal. I was thinking $800, and I can also give you some jewelry I made in exchange. I'm gonna have to pass, thanks. You don't realize how difficult it is to be a single mother around Christmas. My kids have been begging for this all year, and now I have to tell them that you let them down. Does it feel good knowing you ruined two kids' Christmases? I know it's a crazy concept, but I don't give a short about your Christmas. Sorry, I ain't got no empathy for you. Go find someone else. Buy an older one. That's my price. There gotta be more people out there offering MacBooks for sale, all right? I'm not the last one on the planet. Go find a better one that suits your purpose, or a worse one that suits your purpose. But this negotiation is over. Figure things out. Not my fault. Guy wanted me to make him a queen-size blanket. All right, that's a long one right there. As fun as that might be. <laughs> we'll move on to the top post of all time. That might also be long, but we'll find out. I tried to give away two harnesses that no longer fit my dog. Did not go well. All right, it's the top post of all time, so I guess we gotta read through it. Hi, is the harness still available? I think something is, or I think someone is coming to pick them up. I am waiting on a text back. We'll let you know if I don't hear back. Okay, but it's for my kid's dog. I already kind of told her she could have it. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? Do what? Tell your kids she can have the harness? Because you said they were free. They're free to the first person who wanted to come pick them up. Somebody asked before you. That's not fair. I already told her she can have them for her dog. Look, just, I, I don't know why you did that, but if I don't hear back from the guy in the next 10 minutes, then you can have them, okay? Seven minutes later, SpongeBob. So, okay, your daughter can have them. Where do you want to meet? I live at blank, but you still want to do it in public. There's a McDonald's nearby at blank. I can meet you in the car park there. How am I supposed to get there? I don't know. The advert literally said for someone to collect. I don't have a car. You come to me, I'll give them the next person. I don't have time for this, but I hurt my ankle and I can't drive. <laughs> I swear to God. Ugh, people, I don't have a car. What are you expecting me to do? I'm giving away two dog harnesses for free. If you can't pick them up, then why did you message me? You can get a taxi. Hello, hello. She's crying now. <laughs> oh, God damn it. It has to be a troll. It can't be, but no, the, even this troll, it would you, you would get bored. Why is, I'm sorry, but OP, blue text. Why are you entertaining this person for too long? You, I would have been, I would have been out. The second that this person said, but I already told my daughter. I'm like, no. Now your daughter gets to learn how the world works because she has a dumb mom. Okay? No. I'm not answering anymore. Blocked. Get out of here. <laughs> Why have you entertained this person? I guess maybe it was kind of funny to just see how dumb this person is, assuming they're not a troll themselves. It's gotta be a troll some of the time, though. I just, 
I want to believe that people can't be this dumb, but but they probably are. All right, sorry, I need uh, I need hand delivery of the two free items, please and thank you. Cool. Just take a couple hours out of your day. Bring them to me. Uh, don't throw them in the trash. Bring them to me. Spend hours of your time when I know you could just take a minute and put them in the trash, but you don't want to waste. Don't be wasteful. Spend a couple hours. Your time might be worth anywhere from, I don't know, minimum wage to thousands of dollars an hour, but just take a couple hours of your time and do this for me. I know you don't know me, but I'm good. Okay, well, that's it for Choosing Bakers. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. Uh, check the playlist, which may exist at some point if I keep coming back to this subreddit. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you next time. I wanna know you, I wanna show you, and I wanna give you everything you wanted. And I wanna see you, don't wanna leave you. I just wanna give you everything you dream, but I can't just do it all alone.